Let's go to Colossians chapter 3, verse 13. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Forbearing one another and forgiving one another, if any man hath a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. So what is this saying here? Forbearing one another. So what does forbearing mean? Let's look it up. Forbearing. Patient. Restrained. Tolerant. Accommodating. Understanding. Forgiving. Lenient. So on and so on. So this is the way that we have to be toward people. I know this particular person commented to me, and this person was saying, pretty much somewhere around the territory of, what should I do if a person is pretty much just acting really crazy toward you? We have to be forbearing. Yes, I know that it is irritating, annoying to have to deal with difficult people. Believe me, I know. <laughs> but let me say this. When you deal with difficult people, it is going to change you. Have you ever heard, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger? Let me say this too. Some people believe that you can bring people to God by talking to them all day long, preaching to them all day long. No, 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 no. One simple way to bring people to God, of course, God draws people to, to himself, but what I am saying, the way that you can plant the seed, the way that you can show that person how to live for God is by showing them love. What is patience? When you are patient, completely patient toward a person, what else are you showing that person? You are showing that person a form of love. Many of the time, <clears throat> it is going to take love to bring people to God. It is going to take love because let's say this, some people really have been hurt. Some people really have been used. Some people have been through some terrible things. So words by itself, they are not trying to hear it. <clears throat> they are not trying to hear it. They are not because they are hurt. So what else can you do when your words can't reach a person? You show them love. You be patient with them. Yes, it may seem like what you are doing for that person, it may seem like they don't appreciate what you are doing but continue to do it because you can't see what is happening in the inside of them you can't see what is happening within their spirit right of course not so continue to show them love continue to be patient with them 
continue to be forgiven, forbearing. This is one great way to minister to people of God. Sometimes you don't have to say a word. You don't. I minister to people based upon the way I live my life. I can speak all day long and tell you what the Bible is saying, but if I am not following, <laughs> but if I am not following what I am teaching, do you believe people are going to listen to me? Yes, some will, but most won't. <laughs> My Lord, <laughs> this is why I tell people, if you can't do right by God, you need to close your mouth. You need to close your mouth because you are harming more people than doing good because people are going to look at what you are doing and how you are living your life what you are saying, they are going to take heed to that last in many cases. Because as I tell you, I am always watched and I have no idea. I believe, let me be honest with you, I believe I am a really boring person. So why would someone be interested in watching or looking at me or watching me and stuff like that. I have no idea. But they do. And I believe that they see how a person should live their life. Because I don't say one thing and act against what I said. I don't tell you to hey, you should not have sex before marriage. And then you look, I am having sex before marriage. No, if I am telling you to do something, chances are I am doing it myself. As I stated before, people are going to monitor your life before they really take heed to what you are saying. So if you feel like no one listens to you or they are ignoring, ignoring what you are saying, you may have to check yourself or ask yourself, how am I? Do I follow what I teach? Am I following what God is telling us to follow. If you are not, well, you can't be surprised why people don't really want to listen to you. So let's get back. Colossians. Forbearing one another and forgiving one another, if any man hath a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. You know what? And what came to my mind, let me focus on this here. Let me highlight it. Some people want to be treated better. No. Most people <laughs> want to be treated better than how they treat others. That is crazy. And if they aren't treated better than how they treat others, they find fault in other people, but refuse to find fault within themselves. Some people want so much mercy, but when a person does them wrong, they are ready to throw that person in jail or persecute that person 
in a particular way. That is very hypocritical. That is very wrong. That is very evil. How can I ask for mercy? God, please forgive me of everything that I have done. Yes, I have treated these people so wrongly. I backstabbed them and everything. So when a person backstabs me, I am telling God to curse that person. God, I want you to curse that person. Make sure that everything they do goes wrong. How can I say that? You have done wrong to many people. But you want people to forgive you of your wrong. But when people do you wrong, you are ready to pretty much, you want bad things to happen to that person. But you want God to have mercy on you. How hypocritical is that? Don't we know that whatever we sow, we will reap? No one on earth, maybe kids, no one on earth besides babies and toddlers and stuff like that can say that they have done nothing wrong. You can't say that you caused, that you have not caused anyone pain. Why do many of us only think about what is happening to us but we don't think about or choose not to think about what we have done to other people. Why is that? You want so much mercy upon yourself. You want people to forget the evil that you have done to them, but when it comes down to you, you choose to not forget the bad that people have done to you, but want others to forget the bad that you have done to them. How crazy is that? How foolish is that? You want God to forgive you. From all the bad and evil things that you have done, you want God to forgive you, but you are not willing to forgive others. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I pray that this all makes sense here we should be even much more patient for people knowing the things that we have done to other people. No one can say that you have not done anything to anyone. How can I say that? No one can say that they have not caused anyone pain. You can't say that. You can't say that. Everyone here, especially myself, I caused quite a few people pain. Bad, really bad pain. So how can I tell God, hey, I really hate this person. I want you to kill this person. I can't forgive this person, but look at all the line of people that I have hurt. But I am just focused on self. I am focused on myself. Thinking about how I feel about things. 
thinking about how I think and stuff like that. Selfishness. Chances are you are extremely selfish. Focused on self. This person is hurting me, Kevin. Okay. I don't know why everywhere I go, in some cases, people continue to hurt me. Okay. You are focused on self. Have you hurt people? Well, yes. So why are you willing to be all depressed and down or ready to punish this person because they have hurt you? Shouldn't you be compassionate with that person because you want compassion to come upon you when you do wrong? You don't want the full maximum punishment upon yourself if you do something wrong. So why not show that to others? Well, Kevin, I am selfish. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know you are selfish. And selfishness, as you may know or may not know, it is a sin. So you have to change that. Think about that. You want so much empathy, compassion, so on and so on. But when someone does wrong to you, crucify him. What type of person are you? What type of person are you, my Lord, for bearing one another and forgiving one another? If everyone did what they thought is right, imagine how much more chaotic this world would become. People are selfish now. Look at the crazy things that are happening now because people are doing what they believe is right. Look at the chaos. We can't do what we believe is right in our own eyes. We have to follow what the Bible says. We have to. If not, look at this world. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.